What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we've got Dylan. You've seen Dylan around the shop as we do projects here all around. We're doing all kinds of fun stuff all the time. So he was over tonight. I brought up the subject of the most useful tool in the shop here. So uh, we haven't talked about, I've talked about uh, to him, I've said, hey, you need to come up with the most useful tool in the shop, but we haven't told each other which one it is. So uh, I have mine, he has his, and we're going to talk about it. So you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. All right, so the most useful tool in my shop that uh, I, I basically, I can't say everybody will have one, uh, very few people will have one, uh, pretty much nobody you know will have one, but I have one, and that's my jib crane. So I think that the jib crane is the most useful tool in my shop, and uh, let's go over and talk about it. All right, all right. So I got, so, I got it. So no, the, the, the crane, I, I talked you in the same then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so before we go over and talk about the crane, uh, Dylan just uh, reminded me that he did talk me into uh, saving it. So uh, originally when I moved in and there was nothing in the shop, I kind of wanted to get rid of it because it really didn't make sense. Um, I was thinking about relocating it, but I ended up keeping it in its current spot, and I'm glad I did. And I'm glad Dylan talked me into that. So I'm glad he uh, he definitely <laughs> reminded me of that just now. So, all right, let's go over and talk about the crane now. All right, guys, so I'm up on the catwalk here in the shop. I'm about to get the jib crane out. So if you don't know anything about a jib crane, if you can see the yellow tube that goes down to the floor um, off screen, uh, it's basically a big plate that sits on the floor. Heck, that thing's probably four foot in diameter, right? And the thing is bolted down. Basically, the whole the whole corner of the shop is a four by four foot by four foot cube of concrete, and there are L brackets that are that are uh, basically cemented in, and you have your anchors that come up, and that's where it gets all of its strength from. So basically, that pole and then the arm comes out. It has to be very strong. Uh, this thing is only a half ton capacity, so. Uh, you know, it, it pulls most engines. We've done a 7.3 power stroke with it. Uh, we've done a, we've done a lot of stuff. We've done the truck bed on your truck. Mm -hmm. uh, we pulled the truck bed off, put a new bed on with this thing. Um, we've lifted all kinds of heavy stuff with it. We unloaded the pop machine with it. We unloaded the tr uh, propane tank with it. I basically got this set up so that I just bring my bring my. Uh, crane out here, my chain fall, whatever you want to call it, and I hand it down to Dylan, because Dylan's usually the only one that I use this with. And we're usually on the same page here. So this chain fall is an old universal. Um, this thing came out of my grandfather's shop. Um, he, uh, he used it in his foundry back in the, uh, heck it would have been maybe in the 30s, the 40s. So this thing is very, very old. It came off of a uh, kind of a jib crane that was in the middle of the pole barn. Uh, we went up there and, and got it off. Um, was, that, was that with you, Dylan? No, I didn't. Okay. All right, so um, I forget who I actually got this with, but this is actually a two-ton. Uh, this thing is a beast. Uh, I've tried to clean it up, but it's just so caked with grease over so many years. So this thing's probably at least 70 years old, at least 75 years old. I've never been able to find a number on it, but um, we use this on a, a traditional trolley, and uh, it, anytime I want to put it up or down, we just, uh, you know, we can either operate it from down there or up here. So, uh, very useful tool. I think this thing is definitely the most useful tool in my shop. Um, it pretty much does anything and everything that we ask of it. Um, it can go all the way out on the end, and we can pull we can pull motors straight out with it. Uh, and you know whatever we're trying to do in the shop, very useful. You got anything else to say about it? Yeah, it's come. Um, it's been handy. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, cool. Let's get back down to the bench and uh, let's uh, talk about Dylan. All right, guys, we're back from talking about the crane. So next up is Dylan's favorite tool. What is the most useful tool in the shop? Uh, I'm going to say the three-quarter impact that you got. <laughs> okay. All right. So this, let's pull it out. This big monstrosity here. <laughs> so this is an old snap-on three-quarter inch impact. Okay. 
So, I don't even know what model number this thing is. So I got this, oh, this is an old IM-75. So this bad boy has had the, uh, okay. All right, so tell me why this is the most useful tool in the shop. Because I've known we've gotten into multiple situations in the shop with working on the 7.3s. Okay. That even the big pry bar, we couldn't break stuff free, or break stuff loose. Okay. With the rust and everything on. Like your tires, for instance, oh, at yeah, the yeah. old shop. Yeah, you yeah. You knew how to use it on that. Yeah, I had to and use then, it on my lug nuts. <laughs> yeah. And then ball, we've had to use it on ball joints where okay. the ball joint about bust, busted off, hit the plywood, oh. and, about, and skimmed your forehead. Your forehead. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I remember that story. Okay. And then there's multiple times on my truck that we've had to use it to break stuff free. Okay. And that's what I was trying to remember. Okay. All right, yeah. So, um, yeah, this definitely is a useful tool. And, and it's so funny that, you know, I, I definitely would have never guessed that Dylan would have said this tool in particular because we use it so, so little. I mean, I, I, we probably use this about 10 times. Um, and I got this on a bargain deal from Snap-on, and it leaks out the front a little bit, but, man, is it strong. Uh, th this is pretty awesome. Now, we have ran a, a half-inch hose here, I actually have to use a different hose than my regular 3 8 hose from a regular air. I have to use a bigger hose straight to the bung of the compressor, um, and the compressor's got to be filled all the way up, <laughs> yeah. or this thing's kind of useless. So, yeah, the, and the power people is what it says on, on the side of Snap-ons. Um, Woo! I almost dropped it. So, this thing is heavy as heck. So, yeah, I would definitely, yeah, i put that up there in the most useful tools. So... I guess everybody's probably saying at this point in the video is like, what the heck, this, what's going on over there? Um, it, people are going to say, what the heck, nobody owns a three-quarter inch air impact or nobody owns a jib crane. So what is something that's more practical that you would say is still the most useful thing in the shop? That every, every garage would usually have, a backyard mechanic would have, what do you think is the most useful there? I think a lot of people have an engine hoist. Okay. So if you get into the big projects of like pull motors and stuff out of your vehicles and stuff, you need an engine hoist. Okay. Well, we don't have an engine hoist. We've got a we got a, got a chip <laughs> crane. So. Okay. That's yeah. that's definitely you, if you're not getting into projects and working on vehicles and stuff like that, you're gonna have to have something that you don't want to be able to pull your motor out, especially doing like oil pans that we came into with the seven three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I like it. And of course, you guessed it earlier, uh, my most useful tool is this right here. Uh, because I think that no matter what you're doing, a torque wrench is absolutely, without a doubt, uh, one of those things that you have to have. So if you're putting an engine back together, you're just doing regular stuff, um, you definitely need a nice and accurate torque wrench. Um, this one's a snap-on tech angle, uh, half inch, uh, this thing does, I think, from 20 foot-pounds to 250. Yeah, we tried to get it down the lower, and it's not quite... It does 12.5. So, yeah, we've tried to do it down on the lower end, and we found it to be inaccurate. But um, I've had this uh, calibrated multiple times with Snap-on, and this thing is absolutely the bee's knees. Uh, and, and I think that every shop would not be complete without some sort of torque wrench. If you're on a budget, a click-style torque wrench... Um, it's still okay. Uh, you do not need a digital one like this, a tech angle or anything like that, but you definitely need to to uh, anything from torque and lug nuts on aluminum wheels so you don't warp them, uh, doing brake jobs, um, putting an engine together, torque and head bolts. Oh, I mean, how many head bolts is this thing torqued? Oh, uh, just, just on my motor, <laughs> five times. Yeah, a couple times around. So, you know, th this thing has come in handy. It's been absolutely 100% worth that $500 mark that I gave for it and I would definitely buy it again. It's nice because it keeps count. Oh yeah, yeah. This so, when you start, so when you start going through everything, you generally lose count, but that actually keeps count for you so you know where you're at and where you start. Yeah, heck yeah. And another thing, you know, I know I'm getting carried away here, now I'm, now I'm into all kinds of other things thinking, but a floor jack. How many things do you use a floor jack for? Literally every project is a floor jack. If you don't have a if you don't have a car lift, you're doing it with a floor jack. So, you know, there there are tons of things that can be that that most useful tool in your garage. 
whatever your useful tool is in your shop or garage, put it down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. I want to know all of you viewers out there exactly what tool that you find is most useful to you. Maybe it's a hammer, maybe it's a ratchet, maybe it's a torque wrench, maybe it's a jib crane. If so, put it in the comments. Let's talk about it. And uh, as always, thanks Dylan for stopping by and hanging out, doing a video with me, even though he wasn't ready. Uh, and as to you guys, if you'd like to see more content like this, please click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. I don't really care. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. No, I had no idea. That's what was fun about it. Did you know I was going to pick the jib crane? No. <laughs> what did you think I was going to I had pick? no idea what you were picking. You thought it was going to be the torque wrench? I figured kind of like the torque wrench, but that's kind of... I know you mentioned it. And I thought for sure you were going to say the slide hammer because that, that 40 pound slide hammer is a beast and that has got us out of a, a huge pickles before. And then the torch. Well, the torch, yeah. The torch. the torch has come in handy a lot. That's true. We've ran the gas out of it twice since I've had it. So, I mean, we've used it. And then blew the hose off of it. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. <laughs> All right, let's get down to talking about this jib crane.